I'm leaving the office right now, it's half past three, it's very early, but uh, I'm not just going home, I'm going to Gloucester, because today I'm going to participate in a wounded budget patrol. This is part of the budget call. Something I've never done before, something that almost and nobody has done before. See how it looks like. Hi, I'm Jordi from MIFO. Hello. Hi. I'm Jordi from Hi. MIFO. Hi. 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 Your legs, Sorry, what Yes, hello. <laughs> hello. You. I'm Jordi. Jordi. So, I'm from MIFO, International Fund for Animal Welfare. Ah. Just coming to have a look and I'm going to be recording a little bit. So I'm going to create a YouTube video to promote the whole thing. Brilliant. Brilliant. So. First of all, thank you so much everyone for coming, because it's amazing we've had people out, haven't we, every night from basically the 1st of June, and even though things haven't started yet, I think it's making a really, really powerful point that we all feel really strongly it's not going to help BTB, it's not going to help the cows or the farmers or the badgers. So the first thing I want to do is give you the Wounded Badger Farm mandate, which is useful because it gives you general information, it also gives you the numbers of places like Vale Wildlife Hospital. Yeah, who will come and collect wounded badgers. And again, we hope this won't happen, but of course, if people are able to get any pictures or film of anything that's happening, that would be really helpful as evidence about how this is all being done. Well, so that's also, that's anything, I've got some extra one to give out as well. If you know anyone else who might be interested, that would be fantastic for getting yeah. more people coming in, even if it's just for when the actual cull's on, rather than... You know what we're trying to do with okay. setting it all up now. I've got high-vis jackets for everyone. Ideally, just really so we can buy more, because we do think we're going to have quite a lot of people joining. The £10 deposit would be wonderful. You will get the £10 back, but we won't take the jacket back. Well, throughout the, this zone, which is connected to the zone 2, which yes. is connected to zone yeah. 3, we're trying to st standardise a system yeah. for identifying all the sets right down to the bottom of the forest and dean. So it's a big job and um, it's well on, I believe. You are? Oh, thank you. Brilliant. And that's the two. Oh, fabulous. Thank I've got my money in the car. I'll give it you. Oh, sorry. Are you out? No, no. I've got my. I've actually managed to have a medium. You're Fabulous. Thank you. Brilliant. Well, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. 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 So does it matter to you whether we go? Okay. So if we did four thousand, then this one. He went to a children's party. There is a big lay by there. This is a fast moving road. It doesn't smell like a badger. You need to put some whiffy pong on him. To be honest with you, if he gets a badger, he's got a whiffy. I'm spending time playing with my nieces. I think he might well smell like a badger.
a second. Okay. Yeah. Lovely. Brilliant. Okay. Again, there, there's something because I, I saw that on Facebook and I checked it again. For some reason, it's not on display in front of me. Yeah, I thought that would be a good opportunity to um, get a few more people. Tell me, how did you start it all this? Whose idea was? It was Jean and Nick Berry started Stroud 100 when they first heard about what was happening. They were so appalled and they thought there must be something we can do. So their idea was to get 100 landowners around Stroud so that if they rolled out the cull to Stroud, it wouldn't be possible to happen there because they'd have so much land. Because they've got to have 70% of the land signed up in order to cull in an area. So they created Stroud 100 and they had massive success with that. So that was really effective. And then they joined up with Gloucestershire Against Badger Shooting and took it sort of beyond the Stroud 100 idea, looking at how we could move on. And initially it was all, you know, we were going to the local councils and we were getting them to vote against the colour mare land. But when, even though, when they had the free vote in Parliament, even though there was such a landslide of votes against the colour, it was still going to go ahead. That's when we started thinking, you know, some of us were already saying, when it push comes to shove, we're going to go out and walk footpaths. So that's why we came up with the idea, you know, we need a safe, legal way for people who aren't activists but are really appalled by this and who want to protect badgers and don't want to see all the suffering but actually to be able to safely get involved so that's kind of where Wounded Badger Patrol came from. And most of the time it's, you know, people certainly are coming around some of the some of the gamekeepers are certainly noting registration numbers and they're certainly noting mm -hmm. our presence. Obviously the police are as well. Right. So already it's making a difference in terms of I think I think they've been quite surprised that we've had people out every night since yeah. the first of June. Yeah, that's fantastic. Not just our group, but you know, all the different yeah. groups working fantastic. together. Yeah. And it, they must realise that that's what's happening now, but when the actual cold starts, there's going to be a huge influx of people. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of people have got cameras on their phones as well, and we're looking yeah. into things like getting um, some video cameras that can be used at night. Right, infrared or thermal yes, cameras. Yeah, yeah, all that sort of thing. How are you and looking of at? We you don't have lots of money, so yeah. it's the usual. Is that the kind of something that, if somebody donate to you that cameras, that would be, be good? Absolutely amazing. Or even if someone would lend them to us for the for the period of the cull, that would be fantastic. Right. Where is it? Up on there. Well, these are countryside becoming. Oh, Is this an active? Is it active? Pardon? Is it active budget set? Sort of well, way? it was a few days ago. A few it days. It's looking a little bit, yeah, bit dried up at the moment. Yeah. That earth hasn't been no. walked over. There. No. We don't know if there are other entrances over there. Right. It's about midnight, started to rain. I'm back in a hotel after having returned from the wounded badger patrol. An amazing experience. It was amazing for me. I felt pretty close to the badgers. I felt surrounded of badgers that perhaps were underground or looking at us from a distance. I felt I was with them, bucking them, 
peacefully, just walking along, be sure that we were witness of anything that might happen to them. I think this project is very good. I think other projects like that should have started to appear all over the areas where call might take place. I'm very glad I've seen this with my own eyes and I'm sure it's not the last time I'll be doing this.